Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at the old Buckingham Museum, just at the middle of the Buckingham Town Centre. So I'm going to visit this museum, which happens to be an old jail. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are with me, stay tuned. Let's get into the museum to go check things out for our own selves. I have a quick 360 outside have a friend before we go into the museum to go check things out for ourselves. Yeah. So, um, here we are at the Buckingham Museum. In the first place, um, let's read this information they got on the wall here. The story of the goal. First goal was in the pastor. I hope you guys are seeing it. Um, so we're gonna start our tour from this side and then we'll, we'll come down from here. So let's do this. Whoa, this is insane people. So what I learned is this place used to be um, a jail, you know, which is dated the way back. See that clearly? Wow. So, um, these are some of the, the you know, notes you can read here to give you a broad idea of how everything started. Wow. So, this is the building we are in today. This building. Yeah. So let's keep on checking the place out. Wow. This is the same people. Just check this out. Um I can see that it's an elephant um, task. Yeah. Task, sorry. Let's check all these things out. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a night. Yeah. But this is beautiful people. Whoa. Just check the shoes out, man. Check the night's shoes out, man. Wow. And Buckingham Health Angel. Let's read about this first. During the medieval period, coins were minted when they were needed. Coins were made of gold or silver and they were often originally minted down and made into new coins. The half angel is one of the only seven known to exist. The only one in public display in the 
check this gold coin out all we people. <laughs> this is one of the seven gold coins, you know, we were able to keep it for us to have a glimpse when we visit the museum. And check this guy from the medieval people up. Wow. So they've got a lot of coins here, lovely people, which can be dated way, way back in there. Many years ago. Whoa. And that's a Viking spearhead. Yeah, from at the end of the 19th century. So this Viking spearhead you are seeing is can be dated to the 19th century. This is insane, lovely people. And check, check the prison go out. Well, so initially this used to. kind of love in this place people. Whoa. So all the doors you are seeing here are all they are all um, cells or jail doors. You know? It's locked. I was trying to see if we could have a glimpse through. And these are some of the old tools, old carpentry tools they used to use. Yeah, but before we go down here, before we go down here, let's check this place out. So this kind of takes me way back to my secondary school era in Kumasi High School, when I used to knock on the dormitory doors for people to come out. So that's another cell. Let's go in. Wow. This is insane, people. And one thing I just noticed is the cell door is like only five feet high. Yeah, so when you're coming in, you need to mind your head like that so you can go in. And just what you see here can be dated back to the 18th century, which is during the Civil War, you know. So let's read, let's read what we are seeing here. Wow. This is not very some people. Check some of the tools and weapons that was used. Wow. Buckingham Police. Oh, so way back, this is how the Buckingham Police used to dress. So that's a Buckingham policeman in his you know, police uniform with his. I'm going to show you some stuff here. And that's his pay stick. And that was his whistle. And I think that was his badge. And that was his uh, handcuffs or shackles. And I think this is the current handcuffs they're using now. But way back they used to use this handcuff way. I think that is their torch. This is incredible, lovely people. Whoa. 
respect to you, sir. Go on. Go on. Good tea. Ah, so. Wow. Okay. You know what? Let's check this here first. Let's check this out. Let's come up to this room. Let's check this what we see over here. Oh, um, so this is like the police people apparatus, you know. Yeah. That's the police hat. That's the police hat. That's the handcuff that could be dated back. And that is the Holding this policeman I showed you earlier with his baton or base stick behind him. And this was how they used to communicate to people in the cells from this tiny window. I don't know if you are seeing the cell inside. Yeah. So let's go into this cell and go check what's going on over here. Mm. Wow. So this was the window we were checking from outside. And these are all, you know, antique steps. So now we've explored this place, we're gonna go downstairs to go check this area out as well. So lovely people, if you have still not subscribed to my channel yet, you know what we do. Kindly hit the subscription button, leave me a comment to enable and encourage me to bring you more of this content. Wow. This is insane people. And that's the policeman right there. On top there, he's still looking at me. So that is the Buckingham Town. You see that in the picture. So this is how the cell looks like, ladies and gentlemen. They used to keep people here, you know, people who have committed crimes in this cell and this is how they locked them up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is incredible, you know. So you sit down with your guard, that's a guard right there. And that I would say the offender on his bed and that's another guard right there, you know, in this small cell here, which I think is like two by four. It's not that wide. With the cell door here, people. I'm even freaking out over here in this cell. Yeah, you can see the energy within this room is, is a lot. It's very, very intense. You can see a lot of stuff have gone on here in this room. In this cell, let me say in this cell, and you know, it's an eyes of lovely people. And that's your lantern. So I guess if they wanted to feed the prisoners in this cell, what they do was to open this little hatch here by the door. You know. Um to open this little hatch here by the door. And they fed them through here. And if you if we are to date this back to the olden days, like to the 18th or 19th century, those times they didn't have lights in the cell. 
So I guess it will be dark over here with you by yourself, just lying on that wooden bed and you know, facing your punishment, people. This is insane. Wow. Just have a quick 360 over here. That's another cell, which is locked. And wow, this museum has a lot to show and a lot to teach as well. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen a pistol. Just check it out. That is the pistol right there. Yeah, it says Flint, Flint Lock Horse Pistol of Yeah Marie, York Man Reparting by Henry North of London. So that's the Flint Lock Horse Pistol, ladies and gentlemen. You can't, you can tell what this pistol did back in the olden days, and that's another room. Let's go check it out. This place looks like uh, an open office with a lot of parcels and presents, you know, into this building. So let's check it out. Wow, this is beautiful. I'll say like a library, you know. Have a quick 360 here. Let's check the other places as well. Wow, that's like kind of um, a recreational place in the building. That's a treasure, treasure chest here, in case you want to, you know, say thank you to them in a special way, you can leave some change over there for them. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is beautiful. Wow. And way out is just this place. Wow. So we're done with our simple tour. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the Buckingham Old Gold Museum for you. If you really enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to hit the subscription button. Leave me a comment and see you same time soon.